Storming Jubilee, as Raila does it again, the standard uh, gentleman is trying to put uh, a historical perspective into what's happening here, saying this is not the first time uh, Raila Odinga's political maneuvers uh, seem to have caught a lot of people on the, on the back foot, uh, you know, tracing all the way back to 1992 when he was first elected into parliament, uh, storming out of Ford, Kenya, to, to found his political party. This must, let me begin with you. Is it by design or default? It's, a, it's by design, because nothing ever takes place in politics, which is an accident. And anybody who tries to ignore Raila Odinga, then you do it at your own peril. And Raila Odinga has got this uh, uncharacteristic way of uh, reinventing himself always when he gets into trouble. But the big question is that when Raila does this, is he doing it uh, serving Kenya's national and public interest, or is he driving his uh, personal agenda? And I think time has come for our nation, Kenya, to come up with institutions which can withstand uh, such kind of maneuvers by powerful personalities. Because as it is right now, the kind of uh, peace and stability we're enjoying in Kenya, mm -hmm. it's because of uh, Raila Odinga. If he decides to stop calling uh, President Kenyatta his brother and starts referring using uh, funny names, yeah. then we'll get into turmoil. So as a nation, we really need to ask ourselves that are we going to be at the beck and call of a few powerful personalities that are depending on their, on their moods when they wake up in the morning, the country attains peace, or if they get annoyed, we plunge into trouble, which goes to the handshake. And we need really to be told. I think time has come for President Kenyatta and Raila Odinga right. really to tell us what is in that handshake. And is that handshake consistent with our public interest and national interest, right. or is it consistent with the two families' interest? But is there anything wrong with the metamorphosis uh, that Raila always seems to you know, try and reinvent himself politically after every few, whenever his influence seems to be waning, he, uh, you know, he, he, he becomes something else politically and, and comes out on top. Is, is there anything wrong with what he, what, what he does? Absolutely nothing. Raila is the envy of many politicians, not just in Kenya, all over the world. Because when he seems he's uh, down, he comes up, he rises, and uh, he shocks everybody. But still the question is, when he does all these uh, maneuverings, yes. are they consistent with our national good and the public good? Or is he just pursuing selfish interest? Because, you know, he can reincarnate himself, he can metamorphosize, mm -hmm. but the outcome is not uh, what Kenyans are looking for. Yeah. And you realize that uh, Raila is some sort of a regional magnet. The fellow who has just been declared the winner of the elections in DRC, she's a kid was in Kenya a few days ago. He had a conversation with Raila Odinga. So I don't know whether that was a blessing or he came to learn something from him. And also the president of uh, South Africa is said to be close to Raila Odinga. So it seems he got uh, that pan-African influence. But at the end of the day, we need to ask ourselves, every time he does this maneuver, how does it benefit Morai in Kisi? Is he pursuing personal selfish interests which benefit himself and the spouse and his kids, or does right. it benefit the entire Kenya? What, what is your take on this, Mark, from, from, from Fort Kenya to NDP, to the NDP uh, merger with Kano, to, to LDP, to NAC, and then ODM? What, what, is, what is your take on, on this kind of political developments? Uh, but but uh, in, in many stories, there is uh, individuals who are always considered the anti-hero. It, it means that someone who sometimes plays the role of the villain and sometimes becomes a hero. And, 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 and uh, Raila Odinga embodies this uh, quite, quite well because he is one person who at any given time, some people have absolutely loved and some people have uh, absolutely hated. Now, that being said, it is not wrong for him. In fact, it's quite genius of him to be able to reinvent himself as many times as is necessary. And as we've said before on this on this panel, that the person of Raila Odinga and the icon that is Raila Odinga need to be understood in that perspective. For some people, uh, Raila is an immovable icon, just like Nelson Mandela is to the South African uh, people. And if Raila Odinga, God forbid, what was to pass on today, he would be celebrated as a great influential leader and a consequential leader of, of this country. Now, that being understood, his history also needs to be put in perspective. The history of him getting into coalitions and breaking coalitions and breaking government is quite well detailed. Uh, it is true of him in uh, 2002. It was true in 2007. And even when he was prime minister, he acted more as if, as, as if he was in the opposition than he was in the sitting government. However, in this particular reinvention, 
we must be very careful in how we analyze railroading. Right. In every other reinvention, he has remained a proper thorn in the side of, of the sitting government. Even when he was prime minister, with all the chescas and all the power, he was still uh, complaining. He complained about everything, including toilets, including red carpets. He complained consistently. But for the first time in the history of Raila Odinga, this particular invention has earned Uhuru Kenyatta, one of the staunchest allies Uhuru Kenyatta has. And the question has to be that is Raila Odinga is a particular reinvention more like a reincarnation that is reincarnated into something totally different than what we've seen before. And my wager is, I think he's become totally different because he must have learned that in 2002, 2007, 2013, and 2017, he was unable to win power. Uh, then he must have realized something that he needs to do different in order to win power. And perhaps we are seeing a very different Raila Odinga this time around. All right.